the very first thing before you do anything in the actual engine is going to be inside the cabin of the car. Under the passenger seat, you will find a little blue connector that looks like this. It has a brown and a green white wire leading to it. And so you're gonna short them just like that. You do this because otherwise the ECU is gonna keep changing the timing on you. So you won't be able to do this job effectively. So short this first. Then once you've done all that, we're going to move forward to our actual distributor. And so on this guy, you're gonna have three bolts. I'm trying to get the third one it's right in there. And basically they're all loose right now. And the reason they're loose is so that you can tilt this guy that way or that way. And so our goal with tilting this is to ultimately figure out at what tilt that distributor needs to be at so that our little timing marks on our harmonic balancer start to show up. So you see on this valve cover that there's that white little arrow thing here and those other two little arrows. I'm sorry, it's not focusing right now. Um, so these guys... And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get them to line up on the harmonic balancer, which is this guy, this metal thing. And on this thing, there's three white stripes. And so you want those three white stripes to basically the center stripe to be exactly in line with the middle of those arrows. And when you do that, your car will be at the factory ignition timing setting. Before you do that, the other thing we have to do here is hook up our timing gun. So this is our timing gun. Um, on some fancy models, they have this thing where you can actually set the advancement on them, and I do not recommend doing that. Uh, you want to set it to zero because we're not going to want to mess with that. Otherwise, we're going to throw this out of whack, and um, we're not going to pass smog. So set if your gun has this. Some guns don't. Um, make sure it's set to zero. And then the other thing you're going to notice is how you've got this guy right here. And so this guy clamps around your... Uh, spark plug wire for cylinder number one and then once I connect up this battery terminal we're also going to connect these guys and that's what powers our timing gun and so basically what the timing gun does is it fires a light every single time a pulse is detected or that spark is being sent to cylinder number one and so then we're going to look into there and adjust our distributor by tilting it to make sure that's set correctly. And just before I start the car this is what the setup looks like I put my timing gun off to the side just so that uh, it doesn't shake and fall down into this thing while a bunch of things are moving in here. And now we're going to go into the car and start it. Pump clutch. Hear that fuel pump kick on. Sure it's in neutral. I'm gonna let go of that clutch. All right, I know it's gonna be hard to hear me, so I'll try to speak up. But uh, I'm gonna try shining this light down in there. If you pull this trigger, you can see that light kind of kicking on. So now we're just gonna do that for that part we were talking about. Trying to get it to focus. And so you see those three white lines to the right? So that means we need to tilt our distributor to get it to uh, show up on there. So this is not currently in time. So I'm going to tilt it. Let's go to the right, or I guess towards the rear of the car. And we'll see if that helps. So timing guy is right there. Take our distributor. And then we're gonna do this. I like tilted it a little bit that way. Now I'm gonna take my timing light again. And that appears to have just kind of made it worse. So I'm gonna tilt the distributor the other way, so towards the front of the car like that. I'm going to tilt this guy like that. And am 
might be a good idea to tighten these bolts just so that if the uh, vibrations are just kind of kicking this thing forward because like it might move a little bit easily. I'm gonna tighten this guy just so it's a little bit in place. Apologize again if it's hard to hear me, but I'm doing my best. So that really helps. Uh, I'm sorry if it's not picking it up on camera, but you can see that those three white lines are now much closer to those arrows than it was the first time. So I think I need to do just a tiny bit more in that direction, and then we should be good to go. All right guys, just tighten up all three bolts. And I'm just gonna do a final check on this guy to make sure everything's good. Again, it's set to zero degrees of advance. I'm coming in with the timing light. And I'm hoping this comes through. But yeah, you can see that right there. Those three white lines on the harmonic balancer, that big metal pulley on the bottom, are lining up perfectly with the three, the arrow, and then the two, the arrow with the V in it, on our tiny belt cover. And so this is exactly what we want to see. So I hope this comes through on video, but that's all tight. I'm going to take this off. And that is how you set the ignition timing on this car. So. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps. Sorry if the audio is a little bad, but I'm doing my best to take it easy.